Hello guys, my name is Arthur and in this video I will show you how to make a clean install of macOS and boost your MacBook speed and performance. What is a clean install? A clean install is a process of installing a new image of macOS on an empty erased hard drive. There are two options on how to do that, using a recovery utility or a USB flash drive. I will show you both options in this video. The reasons for doing a clean install might be multiple. Doing a clean install allows you to clear away old files and bugs that you might have been accumulating for years before installing the operating system onto a freshly formatted disk. You might want to reinstall the operating system in order to correct problems with your Mac. Doing a clean install may be a good option if your Mac is running slow or otherwise misbehaving. A clean install is also something you should do before selling your Mac or passing it on. It allows you to remove all your data from your Mac and return it to factory settings for the next person. A clean install is also something many computer users resort to when they are trying to get rid of a virus or a malware program. Whatever your reason is, a clean install of macOS might solve a lot of problems at once. Anyway, after this procedure, your Mac will be running much faster and smoother. Without losing more of your time, let's go straight to the topic of this video. If you want to support me, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my other videos on my channel as well. What you need? To perform a clean install, you will need a simple USB drive with at least 16GB of available storage. Please be aware that all data stored on that USB drive will be erased, as you will be making a bootable USB with macOS inside. And don't forget to plug in your computer to a power source, as this process may take some time. Step number 1. Make sure to copy all of your important data and files from your Mac on an external hard drive. You can copy files and apps manually or use Time Machine or even iCloud. Anyway, make sure to save all of your important data as your internal hard drive will be fully erased. Now we can proceed with the creation of a bootable USB drive with macOS. Step number 2. Don't load the latest macOS image. For doing that, go through the link from the Apple website. You can find this link in the description of this video. Choose the latest macOS version for your computer, for example in my case it's macOS Ventura. After finishing the downloading of the macOS file, you can proceed with the creation of a bootable USB drive using terminal. Step number 3. Plug in the USB drive or another volume that you are using for making a bootable installer. Open terminal. Type or paste one of the commands below into terminal, then press the return button to enter the command. Depending on which macOS you downloaded, enter one of the following commands in terminal as instructed above. For example, for macOS Ventura, the command will be next. sudo applications install macOS ventura.app contents resources create install media volume volumes my volume. Each command assumes that the installer is in your applications folder and my volume is the name of the USB flash drive or other volume that you are using. If the volume has a different name, replace my volume in the command with the name of your flash drive. In my case, sp underscore 16 GB. This is the name of my USB drive. I will leave in the description of this video all commands for all recent macOS versions. When prompted, Type your administrator password, terminal doesn't show any characters as you type the password. Don't worry, it's ok. Then just press return. When prompted, type Y to confirm that you want to erase the volume. Then press return. Terminal shows the progress as the volume is erased. After the volume is erased, you may see an alert that terminal would like to access files on a removable volume. Click ok to allow the copy to proceed. When terminal says it's done, the volume will have the same name as the installer you downloaded, such as install macOS Ventura. You can now quit terminal. Congratulations, you have just created your bootable USB drive with macOS inside. Step number 4. Now we will proceed with the installation of macOS on a clean hard drive. Plug in your USB drive with macOS and shut down your Mac. For M1, M2 based Mac, Press on the power button and hold it until the start options message will appear. For older Intel based Mac, power on your Mac by pressing the power button and immediately press Command R. 
and wait until boot options will appear. I have the M1 Pro Mac, so I will be using the first option. Normally you should see three boot options. Your MacBook hard drive, install macOS, which is our USB drive we just created and options. Choose options first. Enter your MacBook password and then you will see several more options. Now we need to erase the internal SSD on this computer. For doing that, go to Disk Utility and erase the disk using APFS format. From here we have two possible scenarios. Use the Internet Recovery tool or boot from the USB drive. The first option will basically download the latest macOS version from the internet and clean install it. But you need to have a stable internet connection and it may take a while. Or we can boot from the USB drive that we just created. I will choose this option. We need again to go to boot options and this time we will boot from the USB drive with macOS installer. So shut down your Mac and as you already learned, for M1, M2 computers long press on the power button, for older Intel based Macs power on your Mac and press Command R and wait until boot options will appear. This time you need to choose install macOS. Wait until it loads. You may be also asked to activate your Mac and connect to Wi-Fi. Proceed accordingly. Then just follow the steps proposed by the installer to finish the installation process. It may take up to one hour before the installation will be complete. After ending the clean install process, your MacBook will feel like a new, so it will work faster and better. For example, I had a lot of junk files, some useless apps and games, and now my computer is clean and fresh. Actually, I noticed that it works much faster now. Thanks for watching, I hope this video was helpful. If you want to support me, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my other videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time on YouTube. Bye bye.